Okay. We're gonna run through Don't Starve, Lights Out. That's a preset where the whole day is night. You start by campfire, chest full of goodies. So, there it is. Enough to make an axe and a pickaxe, and also a pre-made axe. And uh, you could make a couple torches. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, we start shopping. Because in Lights Out, you know what wins Lights Out? Lantern. So we're rushing a lantern. That's what this is all going to be about. Because once you get a lantern, it's GG. Game is over. You win. Well, you not win, but the difficulty is reduced. Because the hard part of Lights Out is basically getting the lantern. Surviving. Having a light source. Because there's no light. It's all night. So we're just quick switching right now. That's something you're going to have to do because you don't know how much grass and twigs you're going to find in the randomly generated world that Don't Starve gives you. So you're going to have to do some chopping. Now when you hear Charlie coming, you're going to pop that torch. And so we're going to get enough logs so we can make a science machine and then an alchemy machine. So that's why we're going to cut a lot of trees. and. Do not worry about finding trees, because in Lights Out, where they spawn you, there's always a good amount of trees. You can get a lot of logs. We don't need a lot, we just need 21. Well, and it's about 21, I believe. So, we're just getting a couple extra in case we need to make a fire pit. In case. So, yeah. You always want to check the map, too, because when you're running around with the torch, you see how you can't see much? The area of light that's given is not that big, so that's why we're going to burn a lot of stuff, because you can see, once we burn it, we get a lot of light. It's almost as if it's day. <laughs> almost. You may uh, uh, spread to the saplings and grass, that's fine, but burning stuff is definitely how you survive. Because it's going to save that torch. It's going to save that torch. You want these torches to last as long as possible. So don't even don't even care about burning trees. Burn trees. Even if it spreads to some grass, it is fine. Every world gives you more than enough grass. If you're on default, you're always going to have more than enough grass and twigs. So it does not matter if you're going to lose some the first day. And burning trees is nothing. You're going to need the charcoal anyways later on in the game. You're going to need uh, crockpots, so you're going to need the charcoal, so don't even think twice about burning trees. Do not think twice. I can't stress enough, burn trees. You don't want to just be running around, constantly wasting your torch. You should be quick switching, running in the darkness, and then switching back to your torch, and checking your map. Because you see how we have a lot revealed in your map? Because when you're running around, your map reveals a good amount of what's around you more than what the light reveals just from the torch. So you always want to check the map to see, oh, what's in the, the, the darkness just beyond my torch's light radius? Is it grass? Is it twigs? Is it boulders? Is it trees? So you always want to check your map. The important things to do, quick switch torch, burn trees, check your map. First day is going to be a lot of those things. It's going back and forth. See, that one, it actually spread to the berry bush, which was, eh, that was stupid to me, but the purpose of this video, I'm Russian Lantern, so I could have saved that by just burning something else, but that's fine. One berry bush. Berry bushes are useful, but they're not the most useful food items. They are helpful early game, but that's one. That is fine. I run around, correct, collecting more grass, burning grass for the light because we're in the savanna biome. I know there's not going to be any trees around, so a single lone grass, get plenty of light, save a couple percentage on the torch. Do the same thing again while we pick some grass, pick more grass. And we're going to stick to the road because we want to go, go through biomes and the roads will lead you to new biomes. And another reason why we're checking map is to see what biomes we're in. Because you know the biomes, you know what's around, you know what you can take advantage of. Like Savannah, you know there's going to be tons of grass. And birch nuts awesome to burn because they're usually, more often than not, they're kind of far apart from other birch nuts. So you can kind of burn one and it won't spread that far. So those are great. And while we have a light source, we might as well stop to pick the grass twigs or flint that we have on the ground. Burn some evergreens. Hey, is that an evergreen? Boom! We'll burn it. Get that light. Get that light. 
Get these, get these twigs. Get that twig. Oh, maybe, yeah, we'll burn stuff. It is fine. This is how you, this is how you win lights out. You burn. It's not even being that destructive. We, we haven't lost that many grass and twigs. It's completely acceptable amount. It's completely fine. There's always... I've never seen a, a Don't Starve save where people have actually used all of their grass and twigs on their world. And when they do, it drops frames because it's so big. And you can burn those little plants on the, uh, on the ponds. Do not... You definitely want to burn all the useless junk. Definitely burn anything you can. Give you some light. Save your torch. Now, Chester usually spawns in that area on a road or a pathway about ponds, but we're rushing lanterns, so we're not going to get distracted. We're not going to get distracted. Once again, just run around, seeing where you are, seeing what's around you. That leads into another savanna biome. That is not that great. I happen to see a wormhole. We're going to jump through that because... We need a science machine, alchemy machine. We need rocks. We need more rocks to get the alchemy up and running. So we went in an okay distance away. And we have some trees. Oh, guess what? We're light. And now this is awesome. We got lucky with the RNG. We went to a wormhole that spawned us in the mosaic biome. And you, do you know what's in the mosaic? A cave entrance. And you know that's the mosaic when it has a lot of different turfs, like the forest grass or rocky turf, and also a little bit of swamp and a little bit of cobblestone. And sometimes, like the square on the bottom right and bottom left, just no turf. That's just, just blank. That's just blank land. So we know we know a cave is around here. We know rocks are well, not rocks. Well, there are rocks on the ground, but there's boulders. The gold stripe boulders and the regular boulders. So we need rock and we need gold. So we're just going to go around collecting the stuff that we need, all the while looking for the cave entrance. Remember, quick switching is your friend. Do not put campfires down to mine every boulder and cut every tree. Quick switch. You're going to be running through logs if that's how you stay. That's how you stay alive. Campfires, they're too expensive. You, you don't need to waste the logs. The sanity, the sanity is going down. And you might be saying, but hey, your hunger and your sanity are going down. It's not a problem. You'll see. You'll see how we deal with that. You need to focus on getting that light source. You could focus on getting a miner's hat, but it's it's a different strategy because then you have to get spiders for the silk and then the bug net. So you definitely focus on lantern. It's easier. And that's what we're doing, lantern. And once you get the lantern, guess what? You do not have to worry because it's re re you can refuel it with light bulbs. And that's what lights out if you don't know. You're going to have to spend a lot of time in the caves. A lot of time in the caves getting those light bulbs. Because the light bulbs rot. And when they do, guess what? You need to go... Re <laughs> you got to re-up. Once again, burning trees. Perfectly acceptable. Do it. Burn trees. It is fine. It gives you so much light to know what's around you, whether it be rocks in the ground, grass, or saplings off in the darkness fairly and just to find other trees that you can hop to to burn those down so you can save your torch so unfortunately I was hoping to get this done in one day but it's day two we'll see when we can find this cave because I know there's a cave here there's always a cave in this mosaic biome and it just so happened to put us in this one, but the other ca uh, the other biomes that guaranteed caves are the biome with the pig king. There's a cave there, and it's usually located on the grass turf near the pig king, or somewhere that has grass turf in his biome. And also the uh, the marsh or the swamp, however you refer to it. And specifically, there's a area in the swamp marsh that has um, forest. That's like the darker green uh, turf that I'm on now. Has a small patch of that with some trees. Um, in there is going to be a cave entrance. So you also want to be checking your map because you want to be making way towards one of those biomes because that's what 
Just gonna give you the lantern. The cave. Just keep burning away. Burn away. It might seem like we're burning a lot, but it's, it's not that much. It is not that much. These like, there's tons of trees. There's tons of trees in every world, and it's very easy to get more pine cones to make more trees, so do not worry about Okay, so, can you continue walking on, burning trees. Like we are just saying, do not worry about burning trees. Do not worry. You will have plenty. Okay, so that's not the right direction. That's leading us out of the... Mosaic. Well, we want to be inside the mosaic because we know the caves are in the mosaic, so... We're going to head back. Burn trees, burn trees, burn trees, burn trees. Should be the title of this video. Lights out, burn trees. I can't resist picking up rocks. I cannot resist. Anything on the ground, I'm like, hey, I think I'll pick that up. We found a path. A little area on the map that wasn't explored, so I'm just going to fill it in just in case the cave was there. Take advantage of the light. Save that torch. Burn trees, save that torch. Hey, tree. Probably good burning. Hey, tree. Probably be good burning. Okay. Now, following the, following the path. Hopefully leading us to the caves, but it's looking like this biome is leading us into a rocky biome. This now, we're going into a rocky biome. We want to stay in the mosaic, because that's where we know the cave, that's where the cave is. So, we're going to head back. Now, you might get lucky with how fast you find caves. You might get unlucky and have to search for it for a while, but just remember, nowhere to look. Mosaic, Pig King, Swamp. Once you find those biomes, explore them, and you'll find your cave. And just remember to bring all the stuff that you need to make a lantern. Make us have enough resources for the science, the alchemy, and the lantern. So, guess what? Yeah. Cave. Cave time. Always takes a little while to load. And we are okay in the cave. Okay, it's not even a day and a half. Found the cave. Now you may be wondering, hey, your hunger's getting low, your sandy's getting low. You're gonna have a light, but you might die. No, sandy's not gonna be an issue. Food not gonna be an issue because guess what? There's plenty of food and plenty of mushrooms down here. Berries. Eat those berries. Carrot, eat that carrot. Sanity, you can also pick. Mushrooms. Blue, green, you want to cook those for sanity. Don't eat them raw. And more importantly, light bulbs. Perfect. Two. That's what we need. We're going to pick them. Pick these two light bulbs because we need two for a lantern. We're going to plop, plop down our science and we're going to prototype some stuff. And you know what prototyping does? Boosts our sanity. We're going to prototype a few things. So sanity is going to be up, 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 up in a way. We need two rope. We need four cut stone. And then we're going to take that cut stone and we're going to make electrical doodads. Two of them. Now we can make out alchemy. Boom. And now what? Now what? Lantern. Good night, lights out. We win. We have a light source that re can be refueled. Now, you go on the surface and you play Don't Starve like you normally would, just with a lantern. And pop back down into the caves when you need more light bulbs. Run around here, get your carrots, get your berries, get your mushrooms, whatever you want, and be on your way. That's Lights Out. Thanks for watching.